Hey guys, so it really has been forever since I lasted a video. Um, I really have no good excuses at all for why I haven't made videos. I'd like to say I've been super busy, but actually, I really haven't. Well, with school and finals coming up, and I really should be studying for finals right now, but we won't get to that. Um, I'm graduating in a week, and I'm just, I'm not feeling studying by. So, anyway, today I have a full-blown quarters edition empties video for you. I have this in this lovely drugstore.com box and yeah I have a bazillion products in here. Not really that's an exaggeration but it's a lot. I've been collecting in my closet probably for the past good three months. Two months? Three months? Yeah since the last time I did an empties video um, I've been meaning to make this for the longest time but it just hasn't happened. Um, so yeah, I thought now would be a good time to make it because I'm moving also in a week after I graduate. And I really don't want to have to take this big old box with me to my new residence, um, of trash, really. So yeah, let's get started. Okay, so first off I have an empty shower gel. This is the Cashmere Glow Shea Enrich Shower Gel from Bath & Body Works. Um, this is nice. It's not really, really good. I don't find their body washes to be, like, super moisturizing or anything. They're just, I don't know, they're, they just are what they are. It's a body wash. But, yeah, I think this line came out around Christmas, a little bit after Christmas. It was part of their winter collection. But, yeah, it smells really, really good. I have a spray of this, too. Um, but, yeah, it's like an amber, vanilla smell. It's not fruity or anything. It's more of, um... So yeah, I like this, and I'm kind of sad that um, they don't have this anymore, because it was like limited edition or something. Oh wait, let's see, can I read it? It's quite writing, and I can't read it. Oh yes, warm blend of cold and peach, vanilla, soft cashmere musk. So yeah, that's exactly what it is. I don't really smell the peach too much, but it's all good. Okay, and then also, this isn't even in the empties, but um, it didn't work at all. And yeah, it is the dandruff shampoo. I think I got the off-brand from Walmart. Um, I get really, really dry scalp in the wintertime. Nothing to judge about. You know, it happens. The weather's dry. Your skin gets dry. Your scalp gets dry. Well, that happens to me. So I usually use a dandruff shampoo. I don't use this every time I wash my hair, which I wash my hair probably three times a week. Um... But yeah, I probably would use this about once a week. And it says it's comparable to Head and Shoulders. No, it ain't. The stuff ain't good. If you need a dandruff shampoo, just get um, the Cells and Blue or Head and Shoulders because this stuff is shit. And it's not even empty yet, but I'm throwing it away. Bye. Okay. Also, I have a candle from Bath & Body Works. This is the French Garden. It's a Slatkin & Co scent and I burned it all the way down. Um, usually I would break up the rest of these chunks and just put it in a baggie and I would use it in my Scentsy Warmer. But since I'm moving, I don't want to have another thing to haul around, so I'm not going to do that. And yeah, it smells really, really good. It says it's French, bergamot, sweet peaches, and lavender petals. That brings you to a hidden garden in Old World Paris. Um, yeah, it's kind of springy, fruity. You can really smell the peach in it. And it smells good. I like it. And the label's cute. Okay, next I have a conditioner. This is the Aussie 3-Minute Miracle Moist. I really do hate that word. Deep conditioner. And, yeah, I really like this stuff. It smells really good. It smells, kind of smells like coconuts. kind of smells like you're at the beach. And I enjoy it. I know a lot of people are against this stuff. I don't know because of the chemicals in here. But it's not good for your hair, your skin, or your brain. Whatever. But I don't care, it smells really good and it's cheap, it's like $2 um, at the drugstore and it does the job. Love it. Okay, and then I also have another conditioner that is the Hydrating Macadamia Oil Conditioner from Organics. And I had this for the longest time in my shower, probably like a year, um, just because I didn't really care for it. I thought it kind of be comparable to the macadamia nut oil that comes in the green and brown like tub thing that's like $30. I 
which I'd love to buy, but that's way too expensive for conditioner. Sorry, I don't have the extra money right now. Um, but yeah, I thought this would be comparable to, to that. Um, I didn't really compare the ingredients, but hey, it both has macadamia oil in it. But uh, this definitely wasn't. It wasn't moisturizing. It didn't deep condition my ends or anything. Um, I don't even have overly dry hair at all. But definitely, um, I would get the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle again before I would get this. I don't think I would do purchases again. And the smell was just, I don't know, mediocre. It just smelled like salon products. It didn't smell very amazing or anything. Okay, next I have the Maybelline uh, Dream Fresh BB 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Skin Protector. And it has SPF 30 in it. This was the light to medium sheer tint. Um, I liked this alright, I guess. I don't know. Um, I feel like a lot of people on YouTube rant and rave about it. That it's really, really good. But um, I didn't feel like it was overly amazing. Maybe I just need a lot of coverage on my face. Um, I don't know. It kind of came out orange looking a little bit, which scared me. But once it did get on your skin, it did blend in and it looked fine. Um, it was good for the days, but I was just like going to class and I didn't want a lot of coverage or a lot of shit on my face. Not shit, but you know, makeup shit on my face. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't think I would repurchase this again. There may be better BB creams out there. This is the first one I tried. Um, I have tried tinted moisturizer before, and I just think this was along the lines of this. I just think that they market it as a BB cream, just because that's all the hype right now. But yeah, I definitely would be in the market to try another BB cream, maybe something that's better. So if you have any recommendations, leave those below. Um, but yeah. Okay, next, another face product. I have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Dark Circles. And I really, really, really tried to love this product. And I did really like it at first. I thought it covered my dark circles really nicely. And this is probably maybe my fourth or fifth um, tube of this. And, you know, it, you just twist it and um, the concealer comes out. And it comes out of this little, like, uh, fluffy sponge thing. Um, which I didn't find to be too unsanitary. Just because it didn't get too gross or anything. But yeah, um, I don't know. I just didn't start to like this after a while. I didn't think it was overly amazing or it did really a lot for my under eye circles. Under eye circles that some other concealers can do. Maybe I just have really, really dark under eye circles. I'm not sure. But, I don't know. I might repurchase this, I might not. I think there's better concealers out there for the money. Okay, next, another um, eye concealer that I have was the Garnier Skin Renew Anti-Dark Circle Roller Ball. And, um, yeah, a lot of people have compared this to the Maybelline one, or, you know, says one's better, one's not. Um, yeah, I kind of feel the same way I do about this product as I do about the Maybelline one. It wasn't overly amazing. I know there's alcohol in here, which... Um, doesn't help your dark circles at all or fine lines or your skin it dries it out and whatnot so uh, for that reason I just will not repurchase this okay another concealer I have is the one from MAC um, which is the one in this like tube form with the dull foot applicator and I am color NW20 this is the um, moisture cover concealer and I don't know this was okay um, I think you can get concealers for a lot less money at the drugstore in this same type of container from Love Revlon that are just as nice and um, like a fourth of the price um, I do really really like Max um, Studio Correct concealer I think the one that comes in the pot form that's really really creamy I really, really like that one. I think that is one of the best concealers that I've ever tried, especially for my dark circles. Um, I actually ran out of that, and I think that's in here. So I will show you guys this next. But I, I, just because it's so expensive, I wouldn't repurchase this again. But it was still nice. Okay, yeah, and on that same topic, another MAC product. This is the, um, the yeah, Studio, Studio Finish Concealer, also an NW20. It's SVO 30, 
and it comes in the pot and I seriously had this it's totally empty it's so sad I had this for probably about a year it took me forever to use up which was awesome because I think it is like $20 but I think it's totally worth the money I will definitely repurchase this again I just have it just because it is kind of expensive I was trying a different drugstore concealer out but um yeah I would definitely recommend this I think this is one of my holy girl products okay also for a face I have some more face powders I have the Rimmel stay matte powder in um what shade this is just a transparent shade sometimes I get the transparent sometimes I get the um the next one up the pale one or medium one whatever whichever one I'm feeling when I pick it up I don't know I just get whatever but yeah I really like this I have repurchased this in the past I repurchased this another one after I ran out I would definitely recommend this this is only like five dollars at the drugstore and I think it's a really good powder okay and then also I have the Maybelline dream matte powder and um, it kind of broke up after a while which I didn't really like because none of my other powders have done that I pretty much um, get to use them up all the way around but obviously it gets to the edges and this one just kind of crumbled so I couldn't really use the rest of it and this is the shade um, light four or five um, I like this um, powder and I may repurchase this some point in the future I don't know um, I think I'm more a fan of the um, the Rimmel powder than this one but I still think this is a good one I like it I'll get it again someday and then also, another powder is the Bare Minerals um, SCF 20 Summer Bisque. It's the Multitasking Minerals. And um, I was trying to go through some of my makeup just to use some stuff. I, I've had this for maybe like a year and a half. Um, but if you don't use makeup and you haven't like contaminated it and it's just like sitting around in a drawer, it's fine to use. So I finally used this up and I really like this, um, the Mineral Foundation. I kind of forgot how much I did love it. I used it all the time in high school just because it's such a light coverage. But it actually, you know, it actually covers your face and your blemishes without really doing a whole lot, if that makes sense. Hopefully that makes sense. But yeah, I will definitely repurchase this in the future. Um, I think the their mineral foundation is like maybe 35 30 35 dollars and I just didn't repurchase it yet just because it is pricey but I definitely will in the future and I feel like this is such a great like light foundation for the summer it doesn't get cakey it's not too much on your face it looks really nice definitely will get this again uh, I have another concealer so many um, I didn't realize that I go through so many concealers like I do but I guess I do this is the true match super blendable concealer um, I don't know, it's Warm Fair Light in W123. Um, I really like this concealer. I feel like it is such a small container though. You don't get much product. And I think I've gone through three of these maybe within the past like three months. Um, I don't know. I just think that's kind of excessive when it's like I think seven or eight dollars at the drugstore. Um, and I couldn't even get all of it out of there. I haven't repurchased this one again. I'm trying a Revlon, I think the Color Stay line, and I feel like you get a lot more product in that one. And, um, yeah, and I think it's a better match for my skin too. But maybe I'll get this again. I don't know. Okay, another concealer. I have the Erase Paste by Benefit. This is the number one fair shade, and I tried to hold on to this product for as long as I could because I think it's like $25, but I pretty much used it all. I used the heck out of it. They have such cute packaging. I just love their packaging, but um, this, oh my goodness, this is the best product for my under eye circles to date that I have ever tried, but it's so expensive, and I just can't, I just can't break down to buy it again. I will definitely one day. I think this is awesome. Um, I wouldn't put this anywhere else on your face, like for zits or anything. I would just stick this on my under eye concealers and it definitely brightens and camouflages them. Lovely, love, 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 love this stuff. Okay, 
and then next I have some eyeball products. Yeah. Okay. So first off, I have the Milani Easy Liner for Eyes Retractable Pencil in Black. And I used this up, definitely. And I really, really like this. This lasted a long time, and I felt like it was very waterproof on my lids. I lined my waterline and my tight line um, with this. I don't know, um, all throughout high school and probably the first two years of college, I always, every time I did my makeup, had to um, line my waterline and my tight line. And now I've just kind of gotten out of that. I'm not quite sure why. Um, I still think it looks nice on my eyeballs, but I just don't have to do that every single day, which is nice because then I don't get smudges either. Maybe that's why I haven't done it as much because I get little raccoon eye um, sometimes. But this um, I felt to last quite a long time. Um, but yeah, I would definitely repurchase this again. I feel like there's so many other like liners or black liners to try out there on the market that um, I don't know when I will repurchase this just because I'd like to try a bunch more stuff. So yeah, we'll see. Okay, next! Ooh. I got very excited. Sorry, I'm just kind of winded. Okay, next I have the Great Lash by Maybelline in the clear transparency shade, and I use this to set my eyebrow hairs. Um, I always fill my brows in with powder. Today I did not, just because I wasn't feeling it. And um, then I go over this with um, the gel, and it's basically just clear eyebrow gel. It has the um, you know mascara wand. And it just helps come through your brows and makes them stay in place all day long. Because I kind of have long hair, so you got to keep those down. Don't want to blind away. Um, but yeah, I really like this. I hate how in the tube that it becomes this disgusting color just from foundation and all that stuff. But you can't really help that. This happens with every single clear brow gel that I've ever tried. Um, I would definitely repurchase this in the future just because it is only like $3 at the drugstore. It's so inexpensive. It works. It does its job. Um, I'm trying a different one. I think the Ardell eyebrow, yeah, eyebrow gel. Um, and I really, really, really like that one too. But I can only get that one on drugstore.com. So I will be purchasing this one in the future for sure. And then I have three mascaras. There was only one mascara that I liked. I a sponge. Um, this is the Rimmel Glam Eyes Lash and Flare Blame and Lip Mascara in Cool Black. And I really, really like this mascara. This is one of my favorites. I will be purchasing this again. However, I have had trouble finding this at the drugstore. I have heard rumors they discontinued it. Um, but I am not for sure. If you know, leave me a comment. Because I really hope they didn't. Because I really, really enjoy this mascara. And it takes forever to dry up as well. But it's all gross enough to dry it. But yeah, that's the kind of brush it has. Really enjoyed that separated those lashes. I'll talk about that again. These two were a major fail. Oh, and one just fell. Okay. First I have the Maybelline The Colossal Volume Express. And obviously this is in glam black. Um, I hated this mascara. It was clumpy. It was gross. It was disgusting. Um, you can even see the clumps on there now. And, yeah, it was gross. I will never repurchase this shit again. Also, I have CoverGirl Last Lash Last Volume. I think this is the waterproof in black. And I didn't like this either. It was fine, I suppose. I used it up. But, um, yeah, it has that jumbo wand again. And some of the bristles, like, freaking came off. I don't know if... That was just an error in production, or if they're like, they fell off and they're just floating around in here. But yeah, I thought that was kind of strange. But yeah, I think I've determined that I do not like these big chunky wands. Just because I really like to get in there and get the bottom of my lashes and coat those babies. And the big chunky wands make that super difficult. Two more products. No, not two more products. Two products for the face. I'm sorry. Okay. Um, I have this mini little cleanser, the Refreshing Gel Cleanser from Clarisonic. I got this um, with my Clarisonic that I received as a birthday gift. 
for my birthday and yeah I just used this because it came as a free sample. I would never purchase this. Um, I think my Cetaphil does an amazing job. This stuff smelt, I don't know, very very strange. It was a gentle cleanser which was nice but it didn't lather at all. It didn't do anything. Yeah, no. Just, it is paraben free, which, okay, that's good. There's other paraben free cleansers. Just, I wouldn't waste the money. Next, I have the Cebu Tea Tree Therapeutic Toner. And I've had this in my um, favorites before. And tea tree is very good for breakouts and helping calm redness and everything like that. So, um, I would just spray this on a cotton ball and put it all over my face at night and in the morning before I put my makeup on and I will definitely repurchase this in the future. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed it. I'm trying a different toner at the moment which also works wonders for my face. But I will definitely repurchase this again and I really do like these Seedless line and some of their other products. So yeah. And I got this at all times. Okay, one more product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I have the Tree Hut um, Sea Sugar Body Scrub. And um, yeah. I just use this when I fake tan, or when I'm shaving, or my skin is dry, or I just want a little boost in the way my skin feels. And this stuff, oh my goodness, I got the almond and honey scent, and it smells so good. It's just like, I don't even know, I don't even know how to describe it, but it smells really, really good. If you ever at the store, I think they sell this at Walmart as well, just smell it. It smells amazing. Um, I have had the coconut one before and another one before too as well. And I would definitely repurchase this. I think it's a very good um, body scrub and I think it's maybe 6 or $7. And it's a, let's see, 18 ounce um, little jar here. And it lasts like mm, 6 months to a year. It lasts quite a long time. Okay, wait, one more product. I swear this is the last one. I swear, I know I said the other one was the last one, but this is the last one. This is the um, Sarah Jessica Parker SJP NYC perfume. And it comes in this like strange, cut awful packaging. I don't even know. It's kind of cool because you can take the top off and it like comes out of here and all that jazz. And yeah, I'm. It's a very floral, kind of fruity, some vanilla in there too. It smells really, really good. Um, this was my second bottle of this, but I feel like since it's not an, I don't think it's an Eau de Perfume. I think it's an Eau de Toilette. I may be wrong. Let's look. Ugh. Yeah, it's an Eau de Toilette. Um, I think because of that reason, it doesn't stick around all day. It doesn't last very long at all. I have to um, spray this on me, like, all throughout the day, and it doesn't last very long. I know some of my perfumes I've had for, you know, like, over a year or so, and this one only lasted me, like, a couple months, pretty much like a body spray. So for that reason, I don't know. I'll probably repurchase this in the future. It's not, I don't know, it's a more less expensive on the range of perfumes or all day toilets but um i think it may be a while before i repurchase this again just because there's other perfumes that i want to try out and they are so expensive you know they're good i think this one was maybe like oof, 35 but yeah you know perfumes are good you know 50 60 dollars sometimes so yeah i'll repurchase this sometime soon okay so um yeah this is it this is all of my products. The box is empty. Everything's all over the floor. Um, but yeah, I'm happy I made this video. I'm happy that I can finally throw all this trash, junk, whatever, hoarders, empties, things away. And it won't be tucked away in my closet anymore. And yeah, I won't have to move this stuff all the way with me to um, another place. I can just throw it in the dumpster and be done with it. So yeah, that's like spring cleaning and making a video at the same time. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this empties video and there will be more to come, more videos in the future since I'm graduating. Um, and I'm not quite sure what I'm doing with my life yet. Um, there's going to be more video making going on. 
so yeah look forward to that um i hope you guys have a good uh, night day whenever you're watching this and i'll talk to you guys later